How much weird stuff have you guys come across on TikTok? At least once a day, I see a video that's so weird, disturbing, or confusing that I just have to walk away from my whole phone for a while. Some of TikTok's content has made the news for a number of reasons. From KJ Appa's, um, interesting dances, to that one time where those teens playing Randonautica found human remains in suitcases. The case we're discussing today has been blowing up on social media since January 2021 after a disturbing TikTok went viral and brought attention to not one but two missing person cases. Let's dive in. At some point in January 2021, a TikTok account under the name Plush1 Plush2 posted a video that got over 400,000 views in its first 16 hours online. The video was originally taken from a Facebook live feed, but it wasn't the same person who uploaded the video to TikTok. For any of you guys that haven't seen it yet, I'll show you a clip of the video, but just a warning, it's pretty difficult to watch. Oh God, somebody pray for her. Okay. Somebody pray for her. <laughs> Please. Oh my. Uh, the video shows a young woman sitting in her car with at least two men, while a couple of other guys outside the car film and mock her. The woman stares straight into the camera, looking mad and upset. Her appearance is pretty disheveled, and most notably, she has two huge black eyes that suggest she's been recently subjected to physical harm. There are main reasons why this video freaked so many people out. One was the contents of the video itself, of these people laughing at a girl who is obviously in a bad way, in need of medical attention. From the get-go, people were trying to figure out where and who this girl was, as well as the identities of the men in the videos. Somebody put so much effort into finding this information that that they were able to figure out that the video was filmed in Southern California by looking at a restaurant menu in the background. The other reason for the concerns is that she looks eerily similar to a girl who went missing back in 2014, Cassie Compton. Cassie K. Compton was 15 years old when she vanished from her home in Stuttgart, Arkansas, and has never been seen since. The woman in the video bears a striking resemblance to Cassie, and this led the internet sleuths to believe they may have found the missing teen. By January 14th, the authorities were were all over this, even getting the FBI involved. Their main priority was figuring out if the woman in the video was alive and safe. After that, they could work on seeing if she was Cassie. However, they chose to keep the details of the investigation away from the prying eyes of the media. We are following up on the video and taking all investigative steps, but we cannot say anything further at this time. It didn't take long for there to be a break in the case, but it wasn't what anybody had in mind. A 20-year-old woman named Haley Grace Phillips came forward and said that she was the girl in the video not Cassie Compton. Haley went live on her now-deleted Instagram account to confirm her identity as the girl in the video, and she definitely wasn't happy about the attention she was getting from the video. Thank you, everybody, for worrying, but, um, and also thank you for making me post a picture of me with my recovering black eyes. I was robbed this weekend. I'm fine. Okay, I'm not kidnapped. This video got just as much attention as the original TikTok, and people following the case had a lot to say about all the information coming out. Firstly, no one believed that Haley was okay. According to her nephew, Nathaniel, the people in the car with her were people she called after the burglary to help her with the two women who stole from her. He also revealed something that would lead even more people to believe Haley was in danger. She was struggling with a dependency on illegal Many started to believe that she was being taken advantage of because of this, and the men in the video were using her dependency against her for their own gain. Over the following days, Haley would go live multiple times on Instagram and Snapchat, each video more confusing than the last. In a Snapchat live stream on January 15th, many people commented that she seemed kind of off. In the video, she talked about how her Instagram account had amassed over 15,000 followers, but that wasn't the weird part. There were several comments about how she seems to be slurring her words and staring off into space, which fueled the idea that she was hooked on substances and maybe someone was making her do these live videos so no one would report her missing. Despite these videos, more information from Haley's relatives supported her story that she'd been robbed. Nathaniel took to Facebook to try and provide accurate facts in Haley's case, including the details of her life in California and the burglary. He even posted a screenshot of a FaceTime call they had confirming that she was safe. Her new following anxiously waited for her Instagram live video. But if anything, her live video brought up more questions than answers. A lot of people commented on how agitated she seemed, and more than once, Haley apologized for her tone, but she said she doesn't care if people think she's being rude. What really seemed to flip the switch was when she used a 
slur during the live stream. This understandably upset a lot of people who lost interest in the case and figured the whole thing was way more dramatic than the news first made it seem. It was after that that people started focusing on Haley as a person and how she ended up in this situation. According to Nathan, she was living out in Los Angeles with her boyfriend and two kids, but frequently disappeared for days at a time, especially when she was struggling with her substance usage. Then, in an even stranger turn of events, Haley's Instagram profile turned into a totally different person. Overnight, all of Haley's posts and info were deleted, replaced with a single post by a guy who called himself James Harvey. None of Haley's family recognized this man, and they have no idea how or why he took over her account. Some speculated he was behind the account all along and used Haley's image for clout. However, this seems unlikely because of all of her Instagram live streams. It's also been suggested that maybe she sold the account to James because he wanted the large following she gained from this case. This also kind of seems unlikely, since the account was deleted completely a short time after. One of her brothers, who decided to remain anonymous, also gave an interview to Plague Moth, a YouTuber who did a really excellent video on this case. And while he confirmed all these worrying things about Haley, including her claims she was jumped, he insisted that she was not in a safe situation. Growing up, Haley and her brothers moved all over the states, and when the family was supposed to settle in Colorado, she took off to California. This happened shortly after a friend of hers from Kansas got her into more it's believed that since she moved to California, she got roped into some sort of crime ring, and they're making her work as a call girl and using her dependency to keep her from leaving. Haley's brother said in the interview that he was going to meet with her in late January as she had to return to Colorado to get her driver's license renewed. It's not clear if that ever went ahead. In fact, very little has come out about this case since late January, but people are still wondering what the heck happened here. Personally, I'm kind of disappointed that the momentum of this case didn't lead to more attention for Casey Compton's disappearance. This was a rare situation where it looked like she could have been found, and while it did bring some attention to her case, nobody seems to be talking about it anymore. I'm sure it must have been tough for her family to think that they had a chance at bringing her home, only for it to turn out to be a mistake. In the future, I hope we hear some good news about both of these girls. That brings us to the end of today's video. What do you think of this case? Do you believe that Haley is safe, or is she covering up for whoever's running her life? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below.